Hello, I'm Dr. Tracy, and I'm currently working at Dr. Anywhere. So what I do here at Dr. Anywhere is I'm the medical director. So basically that means anything that's under medical purview, it will be under me. Um, so apart from being a medical doctor, my other profession is I'm a certified mental health first aider. So I start by creating mental health awareness, one conversation at a time. So what Dr. Anywhere does is we are a tech enabled company. Um, we've been here since 2020 in Malaysia and we have been providing virtual consultation to Malaysians since the year 2020. So think of it as not leaving your home to get a medical consultation, having your meds delivered to your doorstep. So essentially it is creating a accessibility for all Malaysians to get medical consultation. So apart from medical consultations, what we also do is we do mass health screening for people like yourself and also for corporates and we do home-based services as well if you do not want to come out from your house to get medical services. So it's a very common misconception that when people say that they're going for mental health counselling, that they are mentally unwell, I would like to say that this is not true. So think about it as going for your regular health screening for your physical check. You do it because you want to make sure that everything's good running in place. So it's the same for counselling as well. You go because sometimes you just need clarity in your thinking and in your emotions. You need someone to tell you what to do. So it is not because that you're mentally unwell, that's why you go for counselling or therapy. It is because you want to keep it well and in check, you go for counselling and therapy. So the two cardinal rules in managing stress is you get good optimal sleep and you eat well. So have a good well-rested 7 to 9 hours, that is the recommended hours of sleep that you should get and eat a well-balanced diet that includes fruits and vegetables. Another thing which you can do to manage your stress is to find out the main cause of what's causing this trigger. And ask yourself this, are you able to control that part that's causing you stress? If you're able to, then that will help you cope with it. If you're unable to, then you need to ask yourself what are the things that you can control and let it pass. So always remember when someone is opening up to you, they're opening up their most vulnerable self to you. So when you listen to them, always remember to listen non-judgmentally and empathetically. And always remember to also be kind to one another. So always remember that you are not alone and mental health, it affects everyone, it affects you, it affects me. And if you do find that you are unable to cope, help is always available, support is always available, you can call your friends or family or get professional help.